The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man in the synagogue who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure the man with a withered hand on the Sabbath day so that they might accuse Jesus. He said to the man with the weathered hand, come up here before everyone. Then Jesus said to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do a good work on the Sabbath rather than do an evil work, to save life rather than to destroy it? But the Pharisees remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at the hardness of their hearts, Jesus said to the man, stand up and stretch out your hand before everyone. The man stretched it out and his hand was restored. Then the Pharisees went outside and immediately took counsel with one another and with the Herodians against Jesus in order to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, courage is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So, we have Jesus this morning standing up. Let's use St. Ignatius. Let's use his, his approach to Scripture. So, Jesus is standing up before ten really mean bullies in the synagogue. He's in a synagogue on a Sabbath, so let's say that there are about 100 people there. So the bullies, let's dress them in those uh, tank top white wife beater t-shirts. They're wearing blue jeans. And they are ready to muscle Jesus around for not obeying the precepts of the Sabbath. Now, what's Jesus going to do? He could give in, he could try to win the bullies over, he could run, or he could stand his ground like a man. Courage really is the gift of the Holy Spirit to look intimidation in the face and not inappropriately respond to it. Not run, but appropriate respond. Incidentally, Uh, The master of humiliation is Lucifer. Courage is the gift from the Holy Spirit to really face odds against us. So let's see what Jesus does. How does he respond to these pharisaical bullies? He goes and picks out the weakest man in church, in the synagogue. His arms are all withered away, his muscles are puny and atrophied, his hand is withered, and Jesus reaches into his pocket, pulls out a miracle, and turns the withered man's arms into Arnold Stegenegger, muscled, and he does it right in front of a bunch of bullies. And he doesn't speak a word to the bullies. Boy, you talk about clever. I'm on Jesus' side. How about you? So as people of faith, let us rise and ask the Lord to hear our prayers. Indeed, let us pray that the Lord will give us the gift of wonderful courage effective courage in the face of our adversities. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray in great thanksgiving for our beautiful parish in Nativity Cathedral, asking the Lord to allow it to prosper in all of his ways and graces. For this we pray to the Lord. And let us pray today for the intention of our Mass. We pray for our beloved Hugh Cavanaugh, asking the Lord to let him delight in the kingdom of heaven and for the consolation of his wife, Anne, and their family. 
For this we pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray this morning? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who are joining us online and all of our silent intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O gracious Father, we come upon you, imploring your power and your strength upon us. We ask you to hear us, for we pray all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 